So, um, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be doing is we're, when we're going to try to evaluate word problems, a lot of times what we have to do is we have to create our angle or create our triangle. So in the word problem, what they're going to do is they're going to explain to us you know, where the angles are and what they're doing. And one of the, two of the more common terms that they use to describe an angle is saying there's an angle of elevation or there's an angle of depression. So what we need to do when we are given, say, all right, there's an angle of, um, of uh, elevation or depression, what we need to do is make sure we create a horizontal line that those angles can be off of. So when I talk about an angle of elevation, what I'm saying is from a horizontal line, the angle of elevation is going to go up from the angle of um, up direction from the horizontal line. So this we call theta would be your angle of elevation. Now it can go in either direction. It can go up to the right, it can go up to the left. It really kind of depends on what the picture is trying to tell you or how you want to create your triangle. But just remember that if you're going to have a horizontal line, an angle of elevation is going to come up from the angle of elevation. Then what would it be if there's an angle that's going down from your horizontal line? Well, I'll just go in the other direction and kind of represent it to save a little space. So if I had a different angle, which was going down from my horizontal line, this is what we call an angle of depression. Okay, So you're going to want to have those kind of two vocabulary words in there, because as you read your word problems, uh, you guys will, these will be commonly be said. So you need to know how to create that triangle. 